five seconds to go start section 13 1 and 2 of the surface act 2002 quoted above proceeds on the basis that security interest needs to be enforced expeditiously without intervention of the court or any tribunal. The legislative purpose for conferring the power on the secured creditor to enforce its security interest by taking recourse to section 13.4 of the Surface Act 2002 without intervention of the court is to free the secured creditor of the impediment contained in section 69 of the Transfer of Property Act. Under the provisions of the Surface Act 2002, a secured creditor is empowered by virtue of section 13 of the said Act to take any of the measure including the sale of secured assets without intervention of the court and notwithstanding the limitation of section 69 of the transfer of property act. As would be evident from perusal of statement of object and reasons of the act, one of them is facilitating reconstruction of financial assets acquired by exercising powers of enforcement of securities or change of management or other powers which are proposed to be conferred on the banks and financial institutions. The scheme of the Surface Act 2002 makes it clear that it does not deal with the dispute between the secured creditors and the borrower and on the contrary it deals with the rights of the secured creditors. The act proceeds on the basis that the liability of the borrower has crystallized and his account stands classified as a non-performing asset in the hands of bank or financial institution. Non-performing account is an account which becomes non-viable and non-performing in terms of the guidelines issued by the Reserve Bank of India. Such account is an asset available with the bank and financial institution as it represents a sum receivables and realization by the bank or financial institution and in that sense it is an asset in the hands of the secured creditors. Surface Act 2002 was primarily enacted to reduce the non-performing assets by adopting such measures for recovery which was fast and uninterrupted by any intervention of the court or tribunal but also for reconstruction. Under the provisions of the Surface Act 2002, all the rights vested in the secured creditors in respect of a non-performing account, which is a crystallized liability, could be assigned to the asset management company and asset reconstruction company, which in turn steps into the shoe of the secured creditor namely the bank or the financial institution. The same is clearly reflected from a bare reading of section 52 of the Surface Act 2002 as well as the definition of the asset reconstruction contained in section 2b and secularization in section 2z and section 10 of the act which prescribes the function of secularization company and the reconstruction company under which it can act as an agent of any bank or financial institution for the purpose of recovering dues 
from the borrower on payment of such fee and charges as may be mutually agreed upon between the parties a forced analysis of the scheme of the surface act 2002 clearly goes to show that all the rights which could be exercised by the secured creditor namely the bank or financial institution can also be exercised by the secularization or reconstruction company once it acquires financial asset of any bank or financial institution for the purpose of recovering their dues from the borrower in view of the forced discussions the only irresistible conclusion is that the rights of the secured creditor to take assistance either from the district magistrate or the chief metropolitan magistrate conferred by section 14 of the act could also be exercised by any secularization or reconstruction company once it acquires the rights or interest in the financial assets of such bank or financial institution in accordance with the provisions of the surface act 2002 and there is no requirement for a secularization or reconstruction company to be notified as a financial institution to exercise the rights stop